Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Um, you know, this is, these are not the kind of um, topics that I want to, that, uh, I want to discuss. But, uh, you know, I am not uh, a that is good. And this issue of religion and these fake papas is quite rampant. Of course, this is uh, a perennial problem. It is a problem that has been there and it is there today and it will always be there even tomorrow. <laughs> the network just cut. I'm sure... You know, uh, 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 that uh, general, Papa General, whatever uh, he may be, <laughs> might even be boasting to say, you see, you wanted to talk about me. Koma alina alim dinampamvu, network yake yazima. But no, come on, that's, that's nonsense. It doesn't work. He doesn't work out like that. You know, the network cut. And I'm sure, you know, if uh, the network would fail, you know, uh, the Kapapa general would tomorrow be there to say, You see, eh, Nidina Pavu, Nidina Pavu Zambiri, eh, is of no Kamba Pari in a network Yazima, Chifuka Murungu, what, 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 nonsense. That's really nonsense, I'm telling you. Ah, you know, we, we, we let's, let's, let's open our eyes. Let's open our eyes. We all. We need God, that's for sure. We need God. But let us try to open our eyes and see where we seek this God. Let us open our eyes and see where we seek this God. I mean, some of these people surely mweva ntuna papata. Na ngukufu alesa. Mshikwena, you can't just see. You can't just see. Umuntu fye, FYSA fye. And surely... We need a lot of sensitization. My brothers and sisters, we need a lot of sensitization because a lot of our people are being taken advantage of. That's why for me, I am against this issue of Zambia as a Christian nation because a lot of people are being, you know, are taken advantage of. They are being abused. They are being indoctrinated in the name of, you know, um, uh, Christ. In the name of Christ. I mean, what is happening is that you find that some of these crooks, they fail to make it here and there. They just become, you know, uh, pastors, uh, prophets, and it is the easiest. Some of these people that come to you and start pro uh, teaching the word of God, it's the easiest. Christianity is the easiest business that one can start without capital. Even me, where I am, I can start. I can start a church. Actually, my wife has been take, has been telling me for a long time to say that I should, I should, do, you know, form a church. But, I mean, I, I know I can actually do very well. I can actually do very well as a as a as a, as a man of God and whatever. I can do it. I mean, there is nothing. There is nothing difficult. We are all human beings. We are all children of God. And this nonsense of saying, no, man of God, don't touch man of God, don't touch man of God, forget it, that is nonsense. We are all children of God, and God loves us. The same way, we are equal before God. We are equal before God. By the fact that somebody goes and studies theology, another one studies, studies a doctor, a, 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 a medicine, it doesn't make this guy with the theology a special guy. I mean, we are all serving the people of God. 
a doctor in hospital is saving lives. Is a man of God. Is a child of God saving lives for goodness sake. Why do you want to make these guys who have, that, who have studied theology uh, to be more special than these other people? Man of God, man of God. No, come on, me, I, I don't accept this nonsense. I'm telling you, I don't accept this nonsense. I'm coming from the church point of view. I'm coming from the church point of view. Except that that is their call. We are all called to do something. We are all endowed with some gift from God. And whatever you do, it comes from God. It is a gift from God. Do it to serve the people of God. That one who is preaching the word of God, it doesn't, it's not that he's special, no. There is nothing like that to God. We are all the same. We are all the same. Of course, I have respect for those people that really dedicate themselves in doing that. They spend time in school. They spend, they spend time in formation, you know. I mean, there are those people that are there, really uh, trained and gifted to do that. Not our kabwalala. Eh? I mean, in, in, in people that in, that work in, in 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 a professional world, in a professional world, uh, like engineers, they are fake engineers, and we call them fake engineers. It's the same even even in, in religion in in religious circles. There are those genuine religious people, but there are those also those fake religious people. They are there. Just like you have, the, I, was, I was seeing in the news that they arrested a fake doctor. Just like you have a fake doctor, there are also these fake uh, so-called men of God. They are fake, that's what they are. They are fake. And you can see them. But I don't understand how some of these people, they are tolerated to a point of you see them getting into state house. You see them going into some of these big offices. And I don't also understand how you people become so naive. Even people who are educated. People who are educated with very good qualifications. Highly educated. They are cheated by these papas. I mean, Eh? Eh? Finish mutina, finish mutina. Papas, I mean, umuntu nga ikele from office, hey, nishima pepo, I mean, you you start shivering and, ah, come on, kushe chupa shani ka nishimu I am not saying, I mean, everybody who is, who is a preacher, or who is a pastor, who is a priest, they are fake, no. No, no, I'm not saying that. I am talking about fake papas. Like I'm telling you that even in accountancy, they are fake accountants. In medicine, they are fake doctors. In engineers, they are fake engineers. But there are those who are true professionals. The same thing, there are those who are true, you know, people, uh, uh, men of God, if you like. But I'm talking about this fake papa. This general, whatever, whatever general is coming from, where is it coming from? Where is he coming from, that guy? Eh? And just listen to what he says and how he treats people. I had Shupahayin and can anyway. The issue of religion is very difficult anyway. But I can only pray for you that, uh, you know, you are enlightened. That guy for me, just to see how he dresses, how he carries himself. Eh? And you see these people being touched. And he goes, oh, what are you doing? Total nonsense. Eh? Total nonsense. powers. I challenge them. Eh? Let them come and touch me. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. I know we are living in a difficult, in difficult times. And you know when poverty. Uh, when poverty uh, increases, 
the, the uh, religion and fake uh, religious practices also increases. Because of the challenges that we are going through, a lot of people are looking for answers, you know, through religion. And so they are going to these useless papas because of the social economic problems that they are going through. Because of the social economic problems that people go through, they render themselves vulnerable and victims of these so-called fake papas. But it is our responsibility to try and you know, enlighten each other, educate each other. Let us follow those churches that have got a, a well-developed a well structure of how people become men of God. A well-developed structure, meaning, you know, there is, a, there, there is formation, there is training that people go through for them to become, you know, preachers, to be whatever, whatever. Not these people that just pick up titles from nowhere. I'm a prophet. From nowhere, I'm a bishop. I mean, what? where have you gotten that? Where have you gotten that? So can we follow churches which are established? Churches which have got, you know, a, 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 a way that they form these leaders. That's why I'm, I'm happy to be a Catholic. Because Catholic, my friend, by the time you are becoming a priest, hey, hey, that's why some of us have even failed. Eh? Some of us have failed and they don't compromise. They don't compromise. When you start, you know, you really have to show that you are worth it before they call you a priest. Of course, this doesn't mean that uh, we don't have people that fail. They are there. That they, I mean, we are human beings at the end of the day. There are people that fail. But at least there is a well-established structure on how one becomes a priest. Other churches also, United Church of Zambia, Anglican, you know, B um, Baptist, Seventh Day, uh, United Church of Zambia, uh, and, and others, you can see that, you know, a, a church at Army, Army, Army of God, these churches, you can see that they have got a solid base. Not these papas like this at Papa Jen. I mean, that man is just cheating people. And the wife comes up and, is, he, you know, he, he was defending the, the husband. No, what, what, what? Come on, please. Please. That man for me is a fake, he's a fake man. And uh, during my time, I can assure you, we will not be allowing this nonsense of anyone just coming into the country and say, I'm going to form a church. I'm a whatever, I'm a whatever. No, we will not be allowing. It was not a papa. It was my daughter who disturbed the, the line she called. So, even this, I mean, the wife is coming up to defend him, whatever, whatever. I sympathize even with the couple. Even with a couple, I sympathize with with a couple because really, ah, Mandini, in every Mandini, but anyway, for me, when Economic and Equity Party will be in power, we will not be tolerating this nonsense. We will not be allowing, you know, our crooks to be making shortcuts, hmm? diluting the real thing. We will not be allowing that. We will not allow fraud stars. You know, we have fraud stars. The same way we have fraud stars in these other professions, we also have fraud stars in, 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 in religion. And unfortunately, we fear to question them. We fear to question them and they get away with it. We should be questioning these people. We should be questioning these people just the way we question, you know, accountants, doctors, engineers. The way we question them to say, where did you where are you coming from how did you reach where you are we should be questioning also these people we should not be scared to challenge these people let's challenge them don't just be scared uh -uh. question them challenge them they are just human beings. They are just human beings. Don't fear. Allah. But, but really the challenge that is there, it's, you know, when poverty is increasing, this is why I'm happy with this, um, you know, the free education. 
because it is ignorance. Uh, these fake or fraud stars, they feast on the ignorance of the people. They feast on the ignorance of people. But if people are enlightened, such nonsense stops. In developed countries, you rarely have uh, this kind of nonsense happening because people are enlightened. Here they take advantage because people are not enlightened. But once people are enlightened, these things are reduced. So that is, um, that, is, that is my point on that. Otherwise, me, I, I wanted you to know that I don't, ac I don't accept with that nonsense of this papa, whatever, whatever. I, I mean, I, I've been seeing him, you know, that guy has penetrated everywhere. He has gone kuli walungu, eh, kuli mao sampa, kuli I, I, did I see him even with HH? Eh, I think I also saw a picture with HH. But who is this guy? This is a fraud star you are allowing. Eh? Now, among my politicians, because of these guys, eh, they have got to my followers, you tolerate them. Come on. Check these guys. This guy is just a, is a, is a, just a gong, is a fraud star. He's a fraud star. And there are many of this kind. Watch out. Watch out. Hmm? There are a lot of problems I do understand. And these problems, unfortunately, uh, they, are, they are putting many families um, you know, in difficult situations. They are being vulnerable. Trust me. These challenges that we are going through, they have not left uh, ma um, many families without challenges. A lot, a lot of us are going through difficult challenges because of the difficulties that we are going through. I can assure you that many homes are having challenges. Even my home has its own challenges. I'll tell you. I'll tell you that even my home has its own challenges as a result of the difficult economic challenges that are we are going through because you see when when there is no money in the economy it is very difficult to make money it is very very difficult to make money and so you find that you have to make adjustments certain things that you used to do you have to adjust you have to cut certain things and those things when you cut them especially with our folks our women folks it becomes a problem I mean, she used to do this, she used to do this, she can't do because there is no money. I mean, this morning I talked about grumpy and people were all over like whatever, whatever. Eh? You were making stories, hey, hey, whoa, 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 saying all sorts of things. It is normal. It is normal. Every woman, once in a while, they get these uh, uh, mwing su uh, 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 mood swings, especially when pang and the vintuna fishupa, I mean, they just don't have the patience and the forbearance, you know. So the challenges are there, the challenges are there, and I'm telling you that please be very careful in your families, in your couples, when you are having these challenges. It might not be, you know, your husband. It might not be your wife. It is the difficulties that you are going through. Given that you have everything that going right, you may not have the, 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 the tension that may be existing in the house. There are tensions in many homes. And I want to tell you that even my home has not been spared. There are tensions. And it's normal. It's part of life. It doesn't mean that when you have a tension with your wife, then, uh, I mean, it's the end of your life. No, no. It is normal. We are tested. And don't think that uh, even if, uh, I'm spared. No, we are not spared as well. We are not spared. We also have our challenges. We also have our challenges. That's marriage. That's family life. That's family life. If you don't go through challenges, then... I mean, thank God to you. But the rest of us, at least me, I go through my own challenges. We go through our challenges. It is part of life. It is part of life. This is DJ Mutati Exclusive.
all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again i go by the name of mutatim pondum i love you peace i gotta go